always try to do things the hard way and learn from my mistakes, please. Every time I drive this coach a thousand miles, there's more problems. Today's not a video that I was ever wanting to make, but I gotta keep you guys in the loop. Two major problems with my coach. Number one is a repeat problem. This has happened before. I've made a video about it before. Number two is a new problem with my tow vehicle that I haven't talked about before. First problem I have, I broke my windshield again. A stone chip got me. I parked it here in storage for a few days and boom, it's cracked. But a huge thanks to the RV Glass Guru. Now, I've done a lot of sponsored videos with the RV Glass Guru. Today's video is not sponsored. This is just me repping them because I do truly use them on my motorhome. One of my very first videos was actually when I broke my windshield the first time they came and they fixed it. So I'll make sure to leave a link to that video in the description below and it's pretty funny. I only got started on YouTube about a year and a half ago. So it'd be great if you guys leave in the comments of that video. What do you guys think of my old videos compared to my videos now? If, if you notice a difference in quality, I can tell I'm losing my tan a little bit. I used to be washing a lot more coaches and now I'm spending a lot more time editing. So that's the biggest difference I noticed. But number one problem, broken windshield, insurance deductible, RV glass guru coming through in the clutch. There's the big crack right there. And there's the guys themselves. A lot of you guys remember Randy there. That's the same guy you've seen in previous videos. Really good guys. They've got a professional setup. That's their van over there. Again, not a paid sponsorship. So, and I do have some really cool stuff going too. I gotta tell you guys, I've been working on some really exciting stuff. Um, I've done some stuff with Oregon Motor Coach Center, with Newell Coach, a lot of really cool stuff worth checking out coming soon so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos and uh oregon motor coach center that's some really exciting stuff coming uh that i i'm sworn to secrecy right now but uh that's going to be coming soon definitely worth checking out so my biggest problem is the volkswagen i am never going to tow the volkswagen behind this motorhome ever again i had a super sketchy experience i even fired up the gopro in sacramento all right guys, I just had the scariest thing happen to me that's ever happened to me while driving a motor home. I'm still, my heart's racing. I just pulled off. Sadie lady doesn't seem to be very affected by it. We were just going down the road and I keep a close eye on this Volkswagen back here. Guys, I went against the grain and I made a mistake. I'll admit it. I made a recently video about towing my Volkswagen Jetta even though it wasn't supposed to be towed and everything was all good. I got up to Oregon, I was dashing around Oregon. All of a sudden, one of the times that I was driving it in between RV resorts in Oregon, I got death wobble. And if you've never seen death wobble, that's a clip of it. I jumped onto YouTube and found a video of somebody towing a Jeep Cherokee trail hook and both of them are shaking with the wobble. Take a look at this. The footage isn't great quality, but it will give you an idea of what this actually looks like and feels like. That's Mark and Julie over at uh, RV Love, really cool channel. It made me feel a little bit better that I'm not the first person to go through that. So shout out to RV Love, uh, Mark and Julie for getting that footage. I thought that maybe there was something wrong with my tow bar. I did a lot of research. My tow bar I had bought off Craigslist. It was like 10 years old and the arms weren't staying in place. So like the arm would like kind of break free. It wasn't locking. So I thought there was something wrong with my tow bar. Well, I towed it around all over Oregon. I thought I had put it to the test. I even towed this car down in Arizona with my parents RV. I flat towed it with the new tow bar just to test the Volkswagen Jetta to see if it's a good tow vehicle. Well, it's not. I'm outside of Sacramento, California right now. I've been putting down some, some good miles today. I left Bend or uh, I left Eugene, Oregon this morning, and now just outside of Sacramento, we hit kind of rough highway, and it just, from my experience, what's happened is if you stop the vehicle and it kind of resets, you're good to go. Fortunately for me, there's a big parking lot at the next exit here with the Costco, bunch of stuff. Now there's no overnight RV parking here and I gotta figure out something for this car. Now, 
I am so grateful and so blessed to have really good friends. Right now, my buddy Daryl Williams, the president of Lion Solutions Mobile Detailing. Daryl is one of the most elite detailers in the world. He's had the account with Bugatti for as many years as I can remember. I met him at the Concordia Elegance at Pebble Beach. In a second, we're gonna go take a look at my tow vehicle and check on it, because I literally haven't gotten out of the RV. I just literally pulled over and wanted to fire up the camera just to kind of share this moment with you guys. It's not always great, but um, yeah, I've got a lot of driving to do in the next 48 hours. So luckily without that behind me, I should be able to move a little bit quicker. California towing, uh, it's a 55 mile an hour speed limit, which I always try to run slow, but maybe I'll go a little bit faster without the tow vehicle. Well, let's go take a look at my, co my car here. Hope there's no damage. Luckily, Daryl knows how to drive six speed. Now I'm gonna get rid of this Volkswagen. I do not recommend flat towing a Volkswagen. I made a mistake, guys. This is messy. This is what it looks like travel. I kept another towel here. This is supposed to be on Sadie's seat, but she beat me to it. I keep my snacks. I keep Sadie's water, an extra gallon, just for her to drink. Paper towels, just wipe it up when it spills. A couple frescas, a banana five hour energy i love rving this is a lot of fun the adventure this is part of the adventure i'm not gonna lie as crazy as it sounds like the adrenaline rush that i just went to just to get this vehicle off the road because i know it's not safe to drive i'm just so thankful that i was able to safely get this vehicle off the road because don't do this if the manufacturer says don't tow it don't be an idiot like me i always try to you know do things the hard way and don't yeah, learn from my mistakes, please. Don't flat tow a Volkswagen Jetta. Let's go look at what's going on. We'll walk Sadie too. Good, good chance for Sadie to get a little walk in here. This is this new back thing. I'm still trying it out. They sent it to me. Huge thanks to Back Shield for sending that to me. But I don't know. I, I'm going to see if it works. But she's ready for a walk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Oh, yeah. You guys are probably wondering. You guys are probably wondering that black thing that's the slide topper room here it's basically the part that goes right there i need to get that fixed it's always something guys all right well she's happy and there is an in and out burger there i'm definitely going to get some in and out burger so i let the diesel run for a few minutes just to cool it off i'm going to turn that off in just a second but It's all good. Daryl, what's good, brother? Oh, shoot, you're right back here. Walking out right now, buddy. Right. Help has arrived. There he is, brother. I got you in the vlog, man. Oh, sure. How you doing, bro? Nice this, this is the man right here. Next to the man. Next to the Dude, man. Dude, well, this is it, man. So, so what happened? Not fun. So if those are the biggest problems I got, I'm doing pretty good. I'll make another video going over the previous repairs, water damage repairs, how much it costs to get it fixed, what they did. Um, that's going to be a whole different video. I want to keep you guys in the loop on all my Class A diesel ownership stuff, but uh, it's hard to keep up. I've been super busy, so keep it out. A lot of really cool stuff coming soon. I greatly appreciate all of you liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.